please be seated. We are about to participate in one of the great events in our church. It's a baptism of two of our young people. And I want to, it is with great pleasure that we welcome back someone who never left all the way from Davenport, Florida. Uh, they drove three to four hours to be here for a special reason. I want to invite at this time Ryan and Trofina Brown. If they would stand, are they out here? Ryan and Trofina. Ryan's right here. Just wave your hand. Just Ryan and Trofina's back there with their two beautiful children. And uh, thank you. So they're here to witness Zoe and Phoebe say yes to Jesus, be baptized by immersion, receive the Holy Spirit, and start new lives in Jesus Christ. So just before Barbara Samuels shares their stories, I want you to know that the next scheduled baptism is on Sabbath, June 15. The next scheduled baptism is June 15. Now is the time to seek the Lord. Today All right, good stuff. is the day of salvation. Right. Barbara Samuels. So today we are very, very happy. Um, we have Zoe and Phoebe. So Zoe Trefina was born on July 31st, 2008 in Coral Springs, Florida. Zoe is currently in grade five in her homeschool program. Her favorite subject is Bible. She says it's her favorite subject because it gives her a chance to learn more about Jesus. She likes music. She mainly likes playing the piano and learning to play new parts. She loves spending time and playing with her sister Phoebe. Zoe wants to be a teacher or an author when she grows up. Her favorite Bible verse, verses are Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. She says the fact that you can put on God's armor to defeat Satan and prevent him from killing us makes her feel really good. She also likes the fact that she's a part of the big family of God and wants to be just like Jesus. Zoe wants to serve God by sharing her talents of singing and playing the piano. She has been learning more about God and by studying the series, Is It Written? Zoe says she's both excited and a little nervous about getting baptized today, but she's more excited to let everyone know that she wants to serve Jesus and Jesus alone. And then we have, then we have um, Phoebe Ryan. Um, she's currently in grade three in her favorite, um, she was born April 26 in Margate, Florida. She says her favorite subject is science. She loves learning about nature, animal, and is fascinated with God's creation on earth. She loves roses and she loves cats. Phoebe wants to be a scientist when she grows up. She plans to design and build things. She says she would love to design a moving couch for her parents <laughs> when they're tired so they could still get around and rest a little while. Phoebe loves to play games with her sister. Her most loved game is tag, freeze, and red light and green light, she says. Her favorite Bible verse is John 3, 16. The fact that Jesus, the Son of God, would die for us to allow us a chance to go to heaven makes her feel very, very happy, and she's looking forward to going to heaven with him. When asked why, what makes her want to get baptized, she says she's tired of misbehaving, and even... And even though she does not know how God will help her to not misbehave, she believes that he will do it and he will do it good. She wants to get baptized because she really wants to go to heaven. She's excited to get baptized and let everyone know that she wants to serve Jesus alone. She wants to serve by helping the poor. She says her dad always reminds her to be thankful for what she has, as there are a lot of people who do not have, and she wants to give back by serving. Phoebe and Zoe. I might just have, okay, there we go. Indeed, it is a privilege. Um, I, I've, I've known Browns since a number of years ago, and it's a privilege to be in the pool today. And I praise God that my grandpa is here to be able to 
baptized his grandkids today. Amen. He is an elder uh, at one of our sister churches here in South Florida at Sunrise Seventh-day Adventist Church. And um, I, I count it a privilege to allow him to be able to baptize his granddaughters here today. So um, I'll say the words and he'll baptize. All right. So, Phoebe. Zoe. Oh, this is Zoe. No, okay, sorry. <laughs> I was talking to her earlier on. Okay. Zoe, because of what Jesus has done for each and every one of us on the cross, and because you have accepted him as your Lord and Savior and want to be a part of this local body of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, it is our privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Receive you the Holy Spirit. I forgot to say, I know there might be family members who want to come up and take pictures. You can do that if you want, please. I know. And she'd stay, stay right here, please. Come on up, Phoebe. No, All right, so, no, oh, Phoebe, yes, okay, okay, all right, I'm going to get it right. Phoebe, because you have also accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, because of what he did for us on the cross, because it is your desire to be a part of this body, this local body of the Seventh-day Adventist Church, it is our privilege to baptize you today. In the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Receive you the Holy Spirit. There might be one here today who have seen the baptism feel something stirring in their heart that they too should be baptized and giving their heart to the Lord. If that's your desire, I'm going to invite you, just raise your hand or come forward at this time and let the world know that you would like to give your heart to Jesus Christ. I see one young man. Come on forward, my friend, please. Praise God for these young people who are giving their heart. I see another young lady. Please, come down. Come down, down. Come on down, please. Praise God for their choice and their decision. Is there any others who would like to give their heart to Jesus Christ? Amen. Oh, my sons. To God be the glory. <clears throat> to 
God be the glory. We have others who have come down also. And we just praise God for these young people who have made a decision to accept Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. And I just want to pray over them. Uh, we have a baptismal team that will be working with you to prepare you so you know exactly what it means to be baptized uh, and to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, so I'm going to invite the congregation to stand at this time. <clears throat> Let's bow our heads as we pray. Heavenly Father, we are so grateful, dear Lord, that in your sacrifice, dear Lord, we might have eternal life. We thank you, dear Lord, for the young people who are making decisions for you. I thank you, dear Lord, that Phoebe and Zoe have also chosen, and by their example and their life, they've also encouraged others to come forward and accept you as their Lord and Savior. Bless us as a church, dear Lord, as we continue to be a nurturing atmosphere. They might be able to grow and stumble and fall and get back up and continue, dear Lord, to walk in the newness of life. Dismiss us now, dear Lord, your blessing. Be with those that may not have had the courage to come down or to raise their hand today. May, they give, may you give them another chance to do so, dear Lord, or to speak to one of our leadership, myself or Pastor Joe or Elder Barbara or Elder Graham. Bless us now, dear Lord, in these things. Be with our, our Mother's Day celebration. Bless the mothers of our congregation as they continue to take seriously the call that you have given them. These and many other blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you in the week that's ahead. Don't forget we do have a uh, Mother's Day lunch over in the gym, so we invite you to join us to send that celebration just across the way. <clears throat>